Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome today to Hand of Fate from Defiant Development. This game has lost its early access tag and is now in a full release and it released on the 17th of February. So we're going to be jumping in and having another look at it. <coughs> Obviously I looked at it when it was early, early access. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how it's changed. So uh, yeah, we're going to give this a go. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go straight from the Queen of Dust, why not? Curses, money bags, in combat players' movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Ooh, that sounds fun. Sure, let's do it. Bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. Let's have a look. No, she took up arms, organized uh, people, and yes. vowed that in a country where death sure. gathered, well, that saves me some time. Be the one dealing it. Let's give this a go. <coughs> now we play for the cup, the first of my symbols. Right, so everything's getting drawn out. Our deck's slowly getting built. When I played the early access of this, I really, really liked it. So I'm glad now it's in full release. I'm going to get to spend a lot more time with it. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this, honestly. All the tables slowly getting set up. I've added some cards to spice up the game. Oh, aren't you pleasant? In to the pain and game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Thank you. Choose your steps carefully. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, my friend. Okay, so we've got no gold, 10 food, and 100 health. Let's just go straight to the first area. Here we go. Mr. Lionel. never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention. And you noticed he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. I think I got this in one of the early access uh, runs that we did. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. Give him the bread on your plate, ask him what he needs, or ignore the goblin. Ask him what he needs. Need? I need your help. Mr. Lom taps his staff on the ground and shield materialises at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin and reveals all of his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? I got a shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Uh, shields with this trait allow the heroes to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. That's pretty cool. I can live with that. Weapons with this trait allow the heroes to counter attack. Okay. Look for the indicator. So, okay. That seems fine you to me. Now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Thanks for the tip. Right. Then before you can stop him, with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints off out the tavern door. Okay, sure. <laughs> You're welcome to it, friend. <clears throat> Next one. Goblins. Oh, goblins. goody. I do love goblins. Me too. Truly, I haven't seen their like in years. Excellent. Mm, yes, excellent indeed. Now, how many have I got to fight? Oh no, is this actually an event? One night, you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away with your shield. Then have also stolen some of your food and gold. Well, I didn't have any gold, so... As you rise to your feet to retrieve your belongings, you realise that it's not only goblins stirring in this dungeon. Oh, there's something else. Two skulls, that's skeletons, is it not? Oh, this doesn't look good for me, does it? So I need to kill the goblins to get my stuff back. Since they've just taken my shield off me. Ooh. The graphics do look a lot nicer. So B to stun, A to dodge, X to attack. It's pretty much the same as it was. Bam, bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Stun you. So it looks like you can still do the... Uh, you keep bouncing between... The Enemies is a pretty good way of managing them, it seems. 
so we need to try and get close and take. So he's got my shield. I can visibly see. Ow! Bastard. I can visibly see he has my shield. Come on. Just die, you little bastard. Give me my shield back. No, you can just sod off. Just die, you little bastard. No, his friend jumped to a pool. I didn't realise there was a second one this way. Damn. Well, we got some gold and we didn't even have gold, so that kind of worked out. But the goblin threat dealt with, you continue on your way. Did I get my shield back? Yes, I have my shield again. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Boom. The Twisted that Canyon. Moment, that glinting weapon. The call to action. To Truly, there is nothing I, I love the narrator they've picked for the... Um, uh, I, I want to call it like a, the Game Master. Very cool. Um... You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. I am going to risk climbing down. Okay, so is Okay. Choose from these this one. Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Three out of four chances of success and I get the one that's fat. I am cursed. Okay, you begin to make your way down the cliff. You soon slip and fall painfully onto the rocks below. The dealer draws one health pain card. Ooh, aren't you charming? Fifteen health! Oh dear indeed! Damn! I get the weapon though, so... <laughs> Frostfang. Okay. That's not, That seems like it would be pretty cool, right? It's got better damage than mine. Uh, so it hits for more. And you want to hit will be slowed. And if I press left bumper on the controller, it will also shoot a cone of ice. Yeah, you're damn wrong, no crypt there. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Hitch a right. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. I will... I will take the ride. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. This game is still only beginning. He new rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me about that, friend. A travelling healer. Okay. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Hmm. I need food. Would you have food? I don't really need the health, honestly, because I'm healing five every time we jump to the next one. Greetings, wise traveller. I have much to offer you. Ooh. Very fancy. Heal wounds, remove curses, sell and buy food. That's what we're looking for. Insufficient gold. I can buy. I'm sure you're grateful for that. I'll have to just buy two food, and that'll have to be it. And I can't afford anything else. So that's that's kind of fine, honestly. Can we sell anything? I want my shield, and I want the frostfang. So no is the answer to that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? The maiden. Given how rarely one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. Or perhaps we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping into the same memories time and time again. Yeah, th thanks for that lovely thought there. One day in a shady forest you encountered an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith, of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Um, I could do, I really could do with more 
food. This bread will sustain you for many days. You draw two food gain cards. We gain three food. And another three food, so we gain six food. Awesome. <coughs> it is said that the sharp-eyed adventurers may protect themselves from the worst of Lady Luck's contrary nature. Farewell, model. Thank you. Thank you, Merith. That was very kind of you. Oh, goody. Cave, traps, and the hope of <laughs> It's all I could ask for. And more. Uh, you found a goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? <sighs> yeah, sure, why not? We've got full health. I'll give it a risk. This already looks unpleasant. <clears throat> oh, that frost sword looks pretty cool. What to say. Weapon ability encounter. Okay, that's new. So, that was dodge, wasn't it? Yeah, right. That's the main thing we're going to need. We're going to have to go Dark Souls on this. <coughs> okay. This bit's not too bad. Okay, so we're through that. We've got fire here. Now. Oh, damn it. It still clipped me a little bit. Okay, we're through that one. Oh, ho. Okay, okay. This doesn't seem too bad. Oh, you cheeky little bastard. Can we attack the pots for anything? Ooh. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh! We made it! Oh! Having survived the traps, you loot the chest. The heal is just three gain cards. Okay. Fifteen gold. Amazing. I get an equipment card. Angel's Wing. This from here. There is little material gain to be made. That is pretty awesome. And fifteen health. Awesome. You can make your way safely. Okay. Well, Oh, it looks like I've already equipped it. Yeah, we have. So, my character's now got a lovely, lovely fashionable helmet on there. What's here? Stairs. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. Yep, let's do it. Oh, okay. Next. Call for the son. priest. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade wandering adventurers. Will you approach the shop? Um. No. I'm going to pass this time. I want to just carry on. Captain of the Guards. I thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. I Did you? Have no such concerns. Win this and claim my token. Ah, so this is for a token. You hear a shout from up ahead and the sounds of battle. Racing forwards, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Two skulls, two skulls. So, four skeletons. Stranger! He calls out as he throws his weapon to you. Here, take my mace and put an end to these monstrosities. It's a lump Ooh. of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. <laughs> Thank you, Game Master. Equipment with this trait strikes fear into the cold hearts of the undead. They might sustain more damage and may not be resurrected around such holy relics. Now that is pretty awesome. Yes, and it does more damage. So, sorry for Osfang, but that is too good to deny. Denying undead being able to revive and do more damage is awesome. Uh, I could skip these, but I really like watching them getting summoned in. I think it's really cool the way they've done it. How you slowly, like, the, the card goes down and then you equip whatever that does. I think it's really awesome. Okay. Probably shouldn't be messing around next to that trap. I'll let you guys come to me, thanks. Okay, so you see the green, you can do a block. 
Oh. Okay. Bam. Give him one round the teeth with the shield there. 